Yeah, that was a big one, obviously, uh, and we were top at the in, in that period still. But uh, yeah, and and the, the the results that came afterwards. So now we are in a good moment. We have set some momentum. We are playing well, but we know that these games are really tricky, and we really need to understand the difficulty of that match on Monday and um, and be at our best. It's going to demand to be at our best. That's for sure. How much can you use that specific game and remind the players who were here last season to re remember? Yeah, we will touch base, but uh, but especially you have to see how they train every day and, and what was the talk after Newcastle and uh, and they all say the same. And now we have Sheffield. It's going to be a big match for us uh, on Monday night, and and they are ready for it. I mean, and you you know from being there and from last season how at this stage of the year it tends to be Manchester City staff putting together a run. And when you see something like the other night against uh, Luton with you know, De Bruyne and Haaland just working. Perfectly again. How much of that emphasize that there just isn't, there isn't any room. There's no room for draws. There's just no room for any mistakes. That's something we cannot control. Just win our games that we have to. But, but how do you stop that being intimidating? Because we all know the titles that Guardiola has won. They always go on these runs of 13, 14, 15 games in a row. How do you how do you stop your team from worrying about what City is doing? Well, that's why they've won uh, so many leagues. Because at the end of the season, when you start planning what you need to win the Premier League, you have to start thinking that you might need 90 points, 100 points. Nobody's done that in this league, in the history. That's the challenge. Thanks, Dan. Harry? Hi, Mikhail. Um, on the Kaya Saka, I don't know, a couple of months ago, maybe before you went on your um, little midwinter break, People going, oh, he's having an average season, not quite reaching the standards of last season. And, I mean, looking at his stats now, he's already broken what he did last season. He's on this incredible run. Was it just a break or that little, he needed sort of freshening up? Or, or did he take heart of what people were saying and think, I need to start stepping it up? Um, no, I think players have moments. Uh, and as well, you just analysing the attacking stats. Or, or the goals or assists, then if you made the judgment because of that, that's it. But his overall play, his overall contribution, his number, the way he was affecting the game is still really high. He's been more efficient. The answer is, is yes. And, and the impact that he's had in the team the last seven, eight games has been really good. So really happy to have players in form. And I, I appreciate it's not just him, you know, because it's a collective going forward. So the fact he got a new deal and Martin did and... Martinelli, and yet they've all continued perhaps to produce and they're getting better and better. How, how good does that feel? Because that, it's, it's not everywhere that players sign new deals and then, then they go into a new run of good form and sometimes it tails off a bit, we've seen. So I'm just, does, does that please you to see such a... It's happening with everyone, it seems to be. Well, for sure, because well, we know that those players have... Uh, their tummies are still very empty because they haven't won a lot and they want to improve. And uh, that was part of the reason why we want to renew, because we know that it can be um, something that is motivating for them, that gives them the reassurance and um, and the incentive to continue to what they are doing. And that is not going to stop them uh, be willing to, to be better and improve, because they're still so young and they have a lot to do. OK, L last one from me. Um, been quite a few pundits giving opinions to certain about certain teams this week, with managers having their responses. Um, there was also a comment about your, um, yourself made by Rio Ferdinand that um, that if you were offered the Manchester United job, he'd think you'd go and take it. Does it annoy you when you hear those sort of comments? Um, or are they just... No, I think it's part of our job, you know. We are exposed um, to the media, we are exposed to the pundits, and, and they have their opinion. The only thing is that normally we highlight the ones that they are not that positive. So we highlight as well a lot of times that they say some great things and they make some great comments and great points and they analyze things in a really good way and uh, with the vision of someone that has experienced that, I think it will be much better. But sometimes we focus too much on the negatives. Thank you. Thanks, H. Ryan, finish this section. Hi, Mikhail. Uh, Hi. You had 63 points at this stage last season. You were top after beating Bournemouth 3-2. You got five points less at this stage of the season, but do you feel you're in better stead because you're, you're more experienced, because you had that experience last season during the running? 
Yeah, I think we are where we deserve to be, and um, we could be probably a little bit better in terms of the points that we have deserved in, in the league. Um, but yeah, to do it consecutively for two seasons, um, apart from that by being in the Champions League, which is another step uh, that makes uh, obviously the, the challenge more difficult and the amount of injuries that we had, I think we are, we are doing good, but uh, we want to do better, that's for sure. And last one from me. Your your core seems to have grown stronger with every season that's gone by under your um, your leadership. Does it kind of ease the pressure and is it comforting knowing this team is equipped to compete for the foreseeable? Sorry, sorry. Can you repeat the question? Your your core of your of your team seems to have got stronger every year. Mm. It seems to get bigger. Um, is it comforting when you're going into this pressure into the season that you know you've got a team that's equipped to compete for the foreseeable, not just yeah. this season? Yeah, for sure, and obviously they've been developing, and, and we make some very important signings as well. Have contributed in a in a really powerful way to to the team, to the squad, and uh, and yet, yeah, and they have to be accountable and responsible as well, and take ownership, and and they doing that, I think, in a in a great way.